Welcome to Tech Wizards with Amira. In this video, we are going to learn how to handle empty or blank files in SSIS package when you are using a, a for each loop and looping through the files and loading them. If you get those empty files, what happens uh, then your package fails because uh, there is no record and uh, data flow task and the source uh, such as the flat file source give you an error like okay, there, the, there is nothing to read uh, because there is no data. So we are going to handle those files in this case. So if you see here, this is my main uh, folder. So it's called the files folder. And uh, I have uh, some files sitting here. So I have a customer file with data.csv. This is another CSV. This is M uh, another CSV. And this is a, uh, another S CSV that is uh, empty or blank. So I have two of them are blank. And uh, then uh, there are a couple of them, they have some uh, data. So this one has uh, uh, three or four records right there. Okay, and the other one has two records. Now I left another file there, new text uh, document.txt. Just left there in case uh, somebody put those different files there. So how? No, no, so uh, I'm going to show you how you can ignore these one because you are only concerned about loading uh, or uh, uh, moving a uh, .csv files. Now. What happened now? Once uh, we will uh, load these files, uh, the files which are empty, they will begin going to the empty folder, and the, which uh, the file uh, which has data, we will load the data by using data flow task, and then move to the non-empty uh, directory here. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look. Uh, I'm going to copy this path, and we are going to create our SSIS package. So I'm using a Visual Studio 2015. Uh, go to the packages, new SSIS package. And uh, here is uh, our SSIS package. I'm going to call this one uh, rename. I'll leave me alone. PKG empty. Okay. Now, first thing, uh, what you can do, you can create a parameter or variable and provide your uh, uh, folder path from where the, you need to read the files. Uh, why you would do that? Because uh, then uh, later on, if you deploy your package on different server and the file path uh, could be different. Uh, uh, actually, your directory could be different where the files are uh, dropped. Uh, in my case, I'm going to call this one as a directory. And uh, here, I'm going to select the data type string and just paste the value there. So that's the directory where my files are going to be. And I can change uh, this uh, value of a variable when I deploy to different server or I can have this one as a parameter. Now, uh, next part what we need, we need uh, for each loop uh, to read the files uh, from this uh, directory. Uh, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to bring for each loop here. Let's make it a little bigger so you guys can see. I'm going to give uh, maybe 120 right here and move it. Okay, so now in the for each loop, uh, what you are going to do, you are going to go to the collection and select uh, for each uh, file uh, in a numerator. Okay, now that's uh, what you're going to select. Uh, go to the expressions uh, and in the expressions, uh, you're going to go to the properties and here you're going to say directory and equal to your variable or if you have uh, created the parameter, then provide a parameter. Okay, Ex uh, evaluate expressions, hit OK that's the path uh, uh, it is actually mentioned here c colon backslash here but our path will be coming from our directory variable so this will be ignored here you will provide us asterisk dot asterisk means a uh, read everything but we are only concerned to read the dot csv file even our folder can have other files drop there it's never going to take care of that one it's going to leave them alone there and I'm going to get the fully qualified path. Um, now go to variable mapping. Here we create a new variable and I'm going to call this one file path. Okay. Now hit OK, hit OK. And here we will be using our script task. Okay. I don't need two of them. I need only one. So I'm going to select uh, or see. Uh, that's where what I'm going to do. I'm going to read the file size uh, and then uh, make a decision if the file is empty or not. Uh, I need a couple of uh, variables here. One, uh, the fully qualified path of my file uh, that I, it is coming here. So for each loop is helping me to get that file path. Second part, uh, I'm going to create a variable called uh, is empty. So that uh, I will use is uh, empty. Okay, it's going to be integer. That's fine. So let's go to the script task here. And uh, let's, uh, I'm going to call this one script task. And uh, I will give name uh, set uh, value of uh, is uh, 
empty variable if a file is empty okay so you can provide any descriptive uh, annotation uh, here uh, in my case uh, I'm gonna go and uh, now what I need to do I'm gonna use a C sharp here read only variables I'm gonna go and select that one and I know what I need I need a file path variable here second variable I am using uh, that's where I need to set the value is the empty variable that's what I will use okay now I go to the edit expressions and here I will write some expression now uh, I already have written uh, a line of code that I'm gonna paste it there so let's uh, make this one large and here I'm gonna just copy that so what I did here uh, I'm gonna copy this uh, all right let me show you so I'm checking uh, as I'm saying if uh, new uh, so I'm creating the new instance of this uh, class uh, file info and then providing the variable uh, that has our file uh, path and the check in the length and if I'm saying if it is zero then what you do set the DTS dot variable is empty equal to one okay that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna copy here go back here and couple of things I need to add a new namespace so what namespace I need to read the files uh, using system dot io that's what I need okay and here I'm gonna go to the public word main function and uh, here I'm gonna paste that uh, three lines of code or two lines of code so here and the variable you guys already know that we have mapped and I'm setting the value to one if uh, the size of uh, this file is uh, zero so this uh, dot length function gets the si size in bytes of a current file so that's what it does so if it is a, there is a size if it is not equal to zero it means the file has some records it will never come here otherwise uh, if the file is empty it will come here and set the value is empty equal to one i'm going to copy this uh, variable and just do one thing if you guys remember that our uh, skip task is inside the uh, for each loop and every time uh, uh, let's say the first time it came and to set the value next time it come uh, the value will be one uh, so that could mislead so every time it comes here first I'm gonna set the value to zero and then check the file and if the file is blank then set the value to one so this will help uh, with that error okay so we save and uh, close now we close this uh, and go to the hit OK all good now we are gonna make a couple of decisions here okay if uh, the file uh, uh, is blank then we just want to move that file so I'm gonna get uh, what I'm gonna get a uh, file system task here and uh, here I will write some expressions here okay constraint and expressions uh, exp and that's what we will use and here I will click and I will say if uh, is equal to one that means uh, if my file is empty that's uh, remember that we have set the value to one if it is empty and that's what we are checking so this is how it is uh, it will look let me put that uh, in the right here so you guys see that's what I'm checking if the file is empty okay then you will go to the file system task and what you will do there what you're gonna do you're gonna move the file sorry not uh, create directory move the file okay from where yes is source path is a variable yes where and uh, that's where I will provide a file path okay, right there is your uh, destination is is a variable no it's not so I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, provide the value of that folder so existing folder and I'm gonna go and copy the folder path empty and then provide okay hit okay and uh, we are all set to override destination yes in case uh, the same file comes over and over we just want to move it and uh, say okay it is a uh, just uh, it can overwrite and here I'm gonna just say file system task and uh, I will just give a move empty file to empty folder we are all good here you see that the variable file path is used as a source or destination is empty uh, it give you error it's a kind of warning but it's really it shouldn't give that error because uh, the value of the file path we are going to uh, get from the for each loop uh, and uh, I'm gonna I am awesome 
because if it is never going to use this value okay uh, you reopen refresh oh you are all good here next uh, you're going to get the data flow task on this side and say if your is empty is equal to zero that means the file has some data so we are going to say is empty equal to equal to zero okay you see here so we are saying user colon colon is empty uh, equal to equal to zero that means uh, the file has uh, some value it means uh, true okay so if the file has some values what we are going to do we are going to load uh, this file so i'm not going to uh, create um, uh, data flow uh, sorry not going to use the file uh, flat file source loaded some table and all that you can uh, do that there are tons of video I have created on that one just uh, use the data flow task here and then at the end uh, you will move the file okay let's uh, get another uh, uh what do you call the file system task i don't know why these are too small for me uh, maybe too late so move the file to non-empty folder after loading okay so we are going to go here move the file move file yes uh, it sources a uh, path variable yes it is because uh, it is a file path that is read uh, through the by using the for each loop and uh, yeah destination is not a variable i can create the variable but i'm not creating a variable here so existing folder you can provide non-empty okay just provide uh, that path hit okay and uh, you should be all good now you will execute the package and uh, our package uh, executed successfully so let's uh, stop the package and now we go to the folder and take a look here so remember we had uh, four files here and the two were empty and uh, there was uh, two of them had data so now they should be moved to this these folders and uh, this one we didn't care because in uh, for each loop we have a uh, only care asterisk dot csv now you can see that empty files has been moved to the empty folder non-empty files has been moved to the non-empty folder so this is how you will uh, take care of uh, the files uh, which are empty or blank uh, in ssis uh, package thanks very much for watching please subscribe my channel and i will see you guys in next video